And now, an Action News special report. Contractors, concrete, and cover-ups. An inspector turned whistleblower says deadlines and dollars are trumping construction safety at McCarran Airport. Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has the exclusive story. This isn't your everyday construction project. Not a curb. Not a sidewalk, not a slab on grade. This is a runway tarmac. This is heavy equipment on it, people. They're not building a runway, but it has to be as safe and as strong for planes to taxi and park. This is very serious. This is an airport. You got people all over the world coming to Las Vegas. John Zedler knows concrete. I mean, from my notes, Maybe 10% of it was right, 90% of it was wrong. He's a licensed, certified concrete inspector who worked for Western Technologies on two airport construction sites. Concrete has to meet specifications, numeric field tests to ensure it's strong enough, hard enough, and structurally sound. The reason why we have those specifications is because you get structural fractures, movement, um, uh, a lot of things. Each cement truck contains about 10 yards of concrete, and according to John's field journal, load after load was failing the tests. Even so, he says contractors knowingly poured about eight football fields worth of unsafe concrete at McCarran International Airport. I would call out the actual number. The gentleman right now, writing down the, the field notes on uh, the paperwork would actually change it to make it pass. If they have to pull concrete out and do it again, it costs a ton of time. And time, as they say, is money. Contact 13 obtained John's field notes and the reports Western Technologies gave to the Department of Aviation. Time after time, the paperwork doesn't match up. You can even see some cases where the failing number is scratched out and a passing one written over it. It's not right. I've told my supervisor, I've told my company, and I've even spoke with the other contractors and subcontractors out there. But he says they just blew it off and started taking work away from him. Because of that, he secretly recorded a meeting with Western Tech officials, and Contact 13 got a copy of that tape. It's, it's, it's serious on our part. We take quality very seriously, and... Um, Airport jobs are very important to us. Davis asked John for his field journal to match against the test results in Western Tech's file, the ones John says have been doctored. I hope to hell you, you can figure out a way to work with us, you know, because... Uh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that when, yeah. when, when I get a number, I write it down. I don't change it. I don't fudge numbers. They seem very concerned, but what's it really about? Listen to this. And I appreciate you coming in. This, and if I sound stern, it's well, I understand. I mean, you guys have been out there for how long? What, 12 years? I, well, yeah. And this is you guys' as client, and you guys are trying to get the next bid? Mm -hmm. no, I'm sorry. I, I don't fudge numbers, and, and it upsets me, you know, when, at all. I, when I try to tell somebody what's going on, I, I get accused of being cocky. But. The day after John turned over his field notes, he was fired. And look at this. They gave him a final check for one penny, and if that wasn't enough... After I was fired, they also made like a, a false report to the uh, local PD department. Accusing John of making threats on the job site. Police quickly closed the case for insufficient evidence. John was the only one who'd put his money where his mouth is and go on camera for this story. It makes me wonder what's been going on over the past years, you know? It's just makes me nervous. After my fifth phone call to Western Technologies, they finally sent a written statement saying John Zedler's allegations are false. But they have a boss, Bechtel, the company that manages all airport construction. Bechtel admits some concrete was poured after failing safety tests, but they say that doesn't matter because follow-up tests show the concrete is structurally sound. And the Department of Aviation, who everybody works for, says the same. But get this, 
They're all relying on data supplied by Western Technologies, the very same company accused of fudging the numbers in the first place. John says he's learned one thing from all this. Honesty can be a liability in the fast-paced world of construction. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be blackballed or blacklisted um, because they don't want somebody out there that's going to be considered a liability because they're out there to make a buck. We asked a McCarran spokesperson if they'd be willing to hire an independent expert to ensure their test results are accurate. They would not, but the Federal Aviation Administration might. The FAA has opened a case under the Whistleblower Protection Program and will be investigating the safety allegations John Zedler raised. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News.